What's going on YouTube? This is Austin here from Austin and Dakota coming at you again with another video for you guys tonight. And tonight, um, if you're wondering what I'm using, what program I'm using, I'm using Screencastify. So if you see a big square down here in the lower right hand corner, it's me. Um, so tonight I literally set up this Google Slides just a little bit ago, and that's what I'm using to show some of my favorite albums. So for tonight's video, I thought I would do my top five uh, favorite death metal albums of all time, or my top five death metal albums of all time. Um, some of it has changed over time, but I mean, other than that, there's some great stuff on here, and I just want to go ahead and get started with this video. So coming in at number five, as you can see on the screen here, um, is Morbid Angel with Blessed Are the Sick coming out in 1991. Obviously, 91, a big year for death metal. You had um, Death or Human by Death. You had Evergy of the Forgotten by Suffocation. You had another album that'll be later on in this list. Uh, Sentenced with Shadows of the Past. Um, Broken Hope with uh, Swamped and Gore. That album, I loved Swamped and Gore. That almost came very close to making this list, but almost made it, didn't quite make it, but I love that album. All right, but uh, 1991, obviously Morbid Angel, Blessed Are the Sick. I was tempted to pick Ultras of Madness or Covenant. I mean, those two albums alone, absolute classics in the genre of death metal. Um, but I picked Blessed Are the Sick because for me personally, it's my favorite Morbid Angel album. Um, everything about this album is absolutely fantastic start to finish. Um, if you thought Altars of Madness was evil, this album is more evil than Altars of Madness. I mean, the riffs, the guitar tone, bone crushing riffs, everything about this album is amazing. David Vincent is absolutely amazing on this album. Looking at these tracks here in the introduction, great. Uh, Fall from Grace, really good. Rebel Lands, Day of Suffering, um, Doomsday Celebration, Unholy Blasphemies. Oh my goodness, man. Doesn't get any better than um, Blessed Are the Sick. So that is my number five. Blessed Are the Sick by the band Morbid Angel. Um, so coming in at number four is not really a newer band. It's one of the more older death metal bands that I like. But I've been getting into these guys, and I went with for my number four, um, the album Last One on Earth by the band Asphyx. Um, now, Asphyx comes from the Netherlands. Um, so it's Netherlands, death, doom, kind of metal. Um... I picked this. This is not my favorite album by Asphyx. Um, people say either you can go with The Rack, um, Last One on Earth, Self-Titled, Death Hammer, um, Death the Brutal Way. But I chose this because it, they nail the doom metal elements in this album. I mean, Martin Van Drunen is an absolute machine when it comes down to the vocals. Now, Martin Van Drunen, obviously he sang with other bands, so Pestilence, Asphyx, Hail of Bullets, uh, Grand Supreme Blood Court. The guy, his body of work is just absolutely amazing, but my favorite band that he was with is Asphyx. Um, so I have to go with this, obviously, legendary album. Everything about this album is absolutely amazing. Very Doom-like metal. It's amazing. Start to finish, again, like I said about Blessed or the Sick. Start to finish alone. Great album. Looking at these tracks. Um, MS Bismarck to start things off is great. Self-titled track, The Incarnation of Lust. Yeah, really, really good album. So if you're a big album, or if you're a big... Um, Martin Van Drunen guy and you love Asphyx, definitely check this album out. 
So that is my number four, last one on Earth by Asphyx. Amazing stuff. All right, so coming in at number number three, um, this is a more popular album, and it's more pick. It's picked by anybody to be Obituary's best album. And I have to say so. I went with um, Cause of Death. Um, of course, you have um, Slowly Rewrite, The Incomplete, uh, Frozen in Time. Um, you had all those albums, but to me, this is Obituary at its finest. Um, John Tardy, absolute awesome vocalist for this band. Um, everything up, everything is good about Obituary. There's some albums by them is kind of hit and miss, but yeah, this album is absolutely amazing. Start to finish again, there is some really good heavy, fast-paced songs on this album. Um, Body Bag, the start thing or the second track, great. Circle of the Tyrants, that's a that's a Celtic Frost cover. Find the Arise, Memories Remain. Um, but the most popular song and the one everyone should know is um, Chopped in Half. I love the introduction to Chopped in Half, where it goes, din -in -it, din -in -it, and then you hear John Tardy just yell, Chopped in Half! Like, the dude, his vocals are absolutely crazy. He can go from like a kind of mid-paced kind of yell to almost a punk kind of scream. Absolutely mind-blowing, and that's why I love this album as well. So that is my number three, Cause of Death by Obituary. Um, I believe these guys are from Florida. Um, coming to number two. Yes, number two is From Beyond by the band Massacre. Um, again, like I said, about 91, big year for death metal. Um, I'm not going to go into the details of this album. Everyone and their mothers should know this album, or at least have heard of this album. Um, classic Floridian death metal. To me, in my opinion, I think Massacre really, really got... Um, the music and the Floridian death metal down to a T. Everything about this album I love. Riffs, guitar tone, straight across the board, absolutely amazing stuff. Um, looking at these tracks here, Dawn of Eternity, great stuff. Biohazard, I love Biohazard. Succubus, Symbolic Immortality, Inhuman Condition. I mean, the whole album you can listen to without skipping a track. That's how awesome this album is. So that is my number two, From Beyond by the band Massacre. Now, I'm kind of skeptical to show my number one because I've got a strong feeling that YouTube will probably either age restrict my video, take it down completely because of the artwork. But I'm going to show it anyways, and if the video gets taken down, it gets taken down. Number one, my favorite death metal album of all time. I went with um, Cannibal Corpse with Tomb of the Mutilated. Now, you had um, the first couple of albums. So you had Eaten Back to Life and Butchered at Birth, Eaten Back to Life 1990, Butchered at Birth 1991. Both those albums are absolutely great. Um, Eat Back to Life, you could tell, kind of Chris Barnes, he didn't find a sound yet. Um, and that wasn't until Butcher to Birth came out, where his vocals just went down to more of a guttural sounding, to more of a guttural sound. Um, yes, absolutely great stuff. Um, riffs, guitar tone, um, very fast-paced at times. Um, all the songs on the album are absolutely fantastic. Um, this is a really brutal uh, album. And what I mean by brutal, some of the songs alone are just absolutely brutal. 
uh, some for an example, um, Hammer Smash Face. I love how fast paced that is. The drums at the beginning, crazy. Um, split wide open, the cryptic stench, um, necropedophile, absolutely great. Um, entrails ripped, beyond the cemetery. Yeah, this album alone, I'd say, start to finish, is death metal perfection, in my opinion. There's not a single bad track on this album. Um, I was tempted to go with Butchered at Birth, but at the same time, though, um, great stuff by Cannibal Corpse. But this one's my favorite Cannibal Corpse album. I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna pause for a minute and let you guys admire the artwork on this album. I'll wait. Yeah, the album art is just absolutely brutal. It's violent. Um, good stuff overall. Love this album. Then you have The Bleeding, which came out in 1994. And Chris Barnes left Cannibal Corpse after that. And then we got um, George Corpse Grinder Fisher, of course, from Monstrosity. But yeah. Um, like I said, great stuff here. This album's absolutely amazing, start to finish. Um, I wouldn't say this is a good Cannibal Corpse album. This might be a good Cannibal Corpse album to start with. Between this one and Eating Back to Life, I would honestly say those albums are really good. But yeah, if you haven't heard Cannibal Corpse, man, do yourself a favor. Go check this album out. Absolutely great stuff by these guys. One of the more hard-hitting, heavy-sounding albums. But yeah, that's my number one. Tomb of the Mutilated by the band Cannibal Corpse. So that's it. Those are my top five favorite death metal albums of all time. Again, it's my top five. If you want to form your own, put in the comment section below. Definitely check it out. Uh, put your list in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts. And until next time, guys, thank you guys very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, please comment, like, subscribe down below. Be sure you hit the bell so that we don't miss any more videos like this in the near future. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.